this video, I'll be making chicken enchilada pasta. We'll be using butter, flour, chicken stock, half and half, cumin, salt, pepper, garlic powder, lime juice, American cheese, milk, olive oil, cubed and cut chicken breast, red onion, bell pepper, green chilies, black beans, and rigatoni. I'm going to start by boiling one box of rigatoni pasta. You can use any pasta you want, but I just chose rigatoni for this dish today. I'm going to boil this for about 10 minutes. While my pasta is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and drain and wash one can of black beans. And I'm going to let these sit in the sink and drain for just a few minutes. The rigatoni pasta has boiled for about 11 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. I'm gonna start by adding two tablespoons of butter to a saute pan. The butter has started to melt. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of flour and we're gonna whisk this until the flour is fully cooked. It takes about two or three minutes. So you can see that this is kind of starting to turn brown. At this point, we're gonna add our chicken stock. I may end up using a whole can, but we'll see. Once that starts to thicken up, I may need to add more. So you're just gonna continue to whisk. It's gonna come to a boil. All right, and as you can see, it's starting to get thick. So I'm gonna add more chicken stock. I'll probably end up using this whole can gonna come back to a boil and it's gonna thicken up again. I use most of the can of the chicken stock, but it's pretty much to the thickness that I'm looking for. So at this point, I'm gonna add our seasonings. I have salt, pepper, garlic powder, and cumin. Add that in. I'm gonna come in with one half of a cup of half and half. I'm gonna add chopped green chilies. to mix. I'm going to add the juice of one lime. And this is pretty thick. Now if it seems like it's too thick you can add more milk but this is perfect. And now we're going to add the cheese. I have eight slices of deli cheese. Listen, you can use cheddar if you prefer. You can use Velveeta. This recipe calls for sliced American cheese and that's what I always use. I have one quarter of a pound of American cheese. I'm just going to add this in. And it's going to start to melt pretty quick. And just, I've added all eight slices of the deli style American cheese in. It's pretty much done. I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna move on to the next step, which is cooking our chicken and onions and bell peppers. All right, we're gonna start by sauteing our chicken. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil in here and let this get heated up pretty well. The oil is heated up nicely. I'm gonna add my chicken. This is one chicken breast that's large that I have cubed into about quarter inch pieces. I'm going to season this with salt and pepper. I would say that's probably about a half a teaspoon of each. The chicken is almost fully cooked. I'm going to go ahead and add in our bell peppers and onion and continue to saute this. Go ahead and add a little bit more salt and pepper. Just a little bit, just a dash. And I'm going to continue to saute this until the vegetables are just slightly cooked. I don't want to overcook them. I just want them, I want them to be a little crispy still. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in my cheese sauce. I'm going to add in our black beans that I drained earlier. And I've got this on a low simmer. I'm just going to let it cook for a few minutes. The vegetables aren't overdone. They're still a little crispy. I'm going to add in the rigatoni. I'm gonna add about, I'm gonna add most of this, but I wanna mix it. I don't wanna add too much pasta to it. I really want that cheese sauce to shine through because it is good. Like I used about three fourths of the box. The pasta is actually gonna soak up some of that cheese sauce. It's perfect. This is exactly what I want it to look like. 
that's chicken enchilada pasta. I went ahead and garnished it with sour cream, green onions, and some fresh jalapenos. Thank you so much for watching this video. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for your comments. As always, have a great day.